Pakistan. All right, David Avella with me now. David, it seems we're very close to America being involved in a wider war. Will Republicans support that? Absolutely. Uh, in making sure that our ally is is safe and, and bring, trying to bring stability back to the to the Middle East and the overall uh, picture, Stuart. You know, keep in mind it is rare that a president, from a political perspective, gets to pick the environment that he runs in, and we're seeing President Biden is going to face the same thing. That now national security becomes a much bigger issue as we roll into the 2024 elections as more Americans not only at home now feel the tug of their personal security being at threat, but now even internationally. Um, we have some causes for concern, as you pointed them all out at the top of your hour. Let's extend this for a moment. Would the Republican Party support American troops boots on the ground, not flying jets off carrier to, re to attack remote targets, but boots on the ground fighting directly with Hamas or, or Hezbollah. Would the Republicans support that? Well, you're going to have Republicans for it and Republicans against it. The key here, Stuart, is having Republican leaders go to the president and to the secretary of defense and state and FBI and CIA and say, what do you need to win this war? What do you need to uh, keep Americans safe here at home? Uh, that's where Republicans should be and see where it goes. See what the administration's plans are. And let's keep in mind, too, that the president uh, and his cabinet are in charge of executing policy, but it requires an act of Congress uh, to declare war. So this is a time when House leaders and Senate leaders and the president need to get on the same page. So you think it might come to that, an actual declaration of war required? Well, I, I, just in the larger scope of what is going on, Stuart, and we don't know where this is ultimately going to go, the point being is, is that ultimately the Congress and the White House have to be on the same page, and that is why Republican leaders should be going to the president and saying, what's the plan and what do you need from us? Got it. David, thanks very much for joining us this morning. We think it's a pivotal moment in the Thank war. You. Thanks for being part of it. We appreciate it.